money for the Iraqi army, we have money for all kinds of wars and bombs, but for the basic necessities of a people, we have no money for them. And it's because, brother, one of America's greatest sins, as President Bush has said so eloquently, is the history of slavery. Mm -hmm. And people don't want to deal with this issue because it is a very sensitive issue. But Abdul-Malik, still uh, on this issue of African-Americans, African-American Muslims, yes. there are people who in the world are confused. When now you tell them you're a Muslim and you're Afro-American, they hmm. ask you, are you from Farrakhan, Nation of Islam, uh, Islam, or you're from Muhammad Ali Islam? They know? want that clarity. So people want to know what, is, I mean, it's not only, not only Arab people, everybody, even American people really don't understand what the difference is between somebody who says I'm with Nation of Islam and somebody who says I'm Muslim. Sheikh Abdul Malik? Well, brother, you know, let's go back to how this idea of black Muslims came about. We have to talk about that. In the early 60s, the media, the American media, our friends, <laughs> they know that there's no such thing as black Muslims. Mm -hmm. So as a result of putting the word Muslim and black together, mm -hmm. yes. they isolated white America from even hearing the message and the true message of Islam that could have been heard. So Islam was portrayed as being for people who are black. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not going to talk about the true color of Jesus and Moses, even according to their Bible, but we'll go with what is, what is presented to us at the moment. Now, because of the indoctrination of the American people, they have been fooled once again that Islam is a religion of either black people or people of color or dark people. But white is also a color. Let us remember that. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Islam is a religion for people of all colors. Mm -hmm. Now... In the 60s, we know that a doctrine was being presented that did not reflect the true teachings of Islam. Mm -hmm. We know that already. But now that we, we, we are where we are in 2007, let us deal with the reality is that the more we allow people to label us, the more divided we become. Mm -hmm. So we need to teach the American people what does Islam teach mm -hmm. without putting anything before or after the word Muslim. We are Muslim, and this is what a Muslim is. If a Muslim says, if a person says that they're a Muslim and they worship man, you're not a Muslim. Mm -hmm. If a person says they're a Muslim and they, and, they, and they don't believe in Jesus, they're not a Muslim. If a person says they're a Muslim and they don't believe in Moses and the Torah, they're not a Muslim. If a person says, I'm a Muslim, but I don't believe in Prophet Muhammad and the Holy Quran, then they're not a Muslim. We must clarify what does it mean to be a Muslim and what are the fundamental principles of Islam that have no room for compromise. That's number one. However, it benefited the media in the 60s to isolate those who call themselves Muslims by saying, hey, that's the black Muslims. So now there's a new thing going on, even in this present day war, that those are Shiites. And we know Shiites exist. Mm -hmm. We know there's Qadiyandis and Ahmadis and, you know, there's Da'wat al-Salaf and there's Sunni. We know all that exists. Mm -hmm. But there comes a time, brothers and sisters, we have to put those things aside and put things in perspective and understand what is the overall issue. Because right now, whether you're a Sunni or a Shiite, the bomb's going to drop on you. Mm -hmm. Whether you got a beard or you clean shave, the bombs are going to drop on you. Mm -hmm. Whether you got a suit and tie on a thobe, they dropping the bombs. Whether your name is Abdullah in America and you're from an Arab country and you're white as white it can be, if you're Abdullah, you're getting on the planes late. You're going to be delayed. <laughs> you can live in suburban America. If your name is Abdullah, you're a suspect. Why? Because they have already made part of the indoctrination of the American people racism. Mm -hmm. I mean, excuse me for the terminology. Right. So again, these terminologies, when people ask us, are you a Muhammad Ali Muslim? Are you from the Nation of Islam? Do you follow Farrakhan? Do you follow Elijah? That's all they've ever shown them. But what about the Muslims who follow pure Quran and Sunnah? Mm. How come they don't get media coverage? Right. Right. Because that's not the image they want to project. So it works in their favor at times when we meet people 